This is an update to the editing process that we're going to be able to do in Matterport when we have a 360 photo that we need to edit and then re-upload it to the Matterport. Thanks to this guy, we were able to figure out a better high quality download since Matterport's updates and that will be part of this tutorial. Let's get started. First thing you do is you open the Matterport where the scan is that you need to edit. And in this case, as an example, we are going to be editing this scan and getting rid of this water in the backyard area. Pretty simple, straightforward editing process. So the first thing you do is you click on the lower right here where it says photos. Click on that and then we're going to be taking a picture. But first, you want to go up to the top right here, switch it to Pano. And that will basically create a flat, equilate, equilate rectangular, somewhere like that, a photo. And then you just take the photo, saving the photo. And the last time we did this process, we just opened it up, clicked these three dots, and we downloaded the photo to our drive. I'll save it next to the other ones. So there's this one here. But what we want to do, I'll show you the difference. I'll show you the quality it is when we download it here. But what we figured out was if we go to the media on your tour and then go down to the panorama you took, click the download arrow next to it and you save it there. Make sure it's a different name in each position. Here, actually, let's rename each of these. And now I'm going to try a couple different ways to see if there's any difference. So we're going to save this image. I'm just right clicking the image that pops up and we'll do this one. Number three, straight and save. And that was a web BP photo. And then we got the three dots up there. Download zero four download from screen case. Okay, so name them all a little bit different. See if there would be any difference in sizes from those three processes. Now make sure you stick around until the end. I'm going to throw in a bonus of how to get even better quality if you're using a 360 camera like this Rico Theta, where we download directly from here and do some editing and you can see the difference in quality even better. All right, now we have those downloaded. We're gonna go ahead and use Adobe Photoshop for this basic edit. Okay, I've opened all four of them in Adobe Photoshop. Now it's important when you're editing a 360 photo that you're going to re-upload into Matterport that you don't change its size, its dimensions, you don't try to edit any edges because when it folds back together into that 360 photo it's not going to look right. So you don't want to change anything other than the actual photo. Alright, let's see which one of the scans came out as a larger view or better quality. So our first one, our image is 1920 by 1080. That was the direct, the old download way. Our new download way is 4096 by 2048 pixels, which is a much better quality to use and re-upload into the Matterport. The third, where we just saved the screen uh, directly from the screen, 1920 by 960, not not usable. And the last one where we upload, downloaded it directly from that screen on the dots, also 4096 by 2048. So you can either download it from that open screen in those three dots or directly from that download arrow, you'll get the better quality version to edit. So let's delete all the ones we're not gonna be using and just go with the new version. Now all we're doing is changing the water and you know in Adobe Photoshop, pretty easy with that magic the new magic stamp you just clone in there and make it look like you want and just like that it is gone i don't like this here so this will be good enough for now so this is going to be decent let's save it save i always go max when we're saving and now the key is on your edited photos or i'm going to get rid of the ones i'm not going to use so i don't get confused here so the key is we're going to take this photo and put it back into the Matterport. So make sure you save your new updated photo in a Dropbox or a cloud file somewhere that you can access it from your tablet or phone. Now we're going to be opening up this tour with all the scan points in my iPhone and an Android tablet. Here is how you download the tour to have it in both places 
to be able to align and re-upload this scan you just edited. All right, you open your Matterport app, and then on the bottom, if you do not have the job in your job section, if you're not one of the ones that scanned it, or if you need to put it in a new tablet or phone, you click your middle icon, Spaces. You find the job you need to upload for the change. You click on the three dots next to that job, and then hit Restore Job Data. And then that'll load that job into your system. So once you have it downloaded to your spaces, you go to the job and you open up that job. And the scan we are replacing is number 10. Let's just make sure that it's the right one. Yep, with the water disappearing, that is the one. So what you do on your app, you open up your scan, you go to your scan options, you open up and you click the connect to camera or change the camera section. And then on the bottom left, you'll see import 360 images. So we're going to import a 360 image and then you were going to import a 3D scan. All right. So I'm going to go open up the picture we just saved. There it is. My images, downloads, select the image. And now while it's importing, that image will hopefully it'll line up right at number 10 and it was number 71 but instead of putting it at 10 it moved it over closer to 46 I hit 71 and i'm going to realign it to on 10 and turn it and hit the check mark and there we go they put it right on top of where number 10 was the alignment worked out but real quick i'm going to show you the same thing in the iphone so you can see the difference let's get on to that so the same concept, bring that scan in, it's going to land on number 10. You select the camera type you're going to be using. So instead of iPhone, we're going to be importing a 360 image. And it's going to be a 3D, 3D scan that we're importing. I'm going to bring it in from the files. Actually, I'll just save it to my camera roll from the OneDrive. And then I will import 360 scan from camera roll. Save from Dropbox. There it is. I'm going to import that scan. Now let's see how it does. All right, so it's successfully aligned. And in this case, it's number 65. I wonder why on the Samsung it was 71. But anyway, so 65, you can see it put it inside the house instead of out there by number 10. But we'll do the same process. Realign scan, and then we'll just move it over. You just use your fingers to two fingers to rotate, one finger to move back and forth. So we'll just get this right onto number 10, realign, and then with the check mark. Now usually when I'm doing it, this with the iPhone, it doesn't work. It takes five times to realign like this, and sometimes it doesn't even work, and I just kind of give up. So we'll see what happens. And it worked. Perfect. So in each case, when I realigned initially, put it in the wrong spot, Second time, moved it with my fingers, put it where I, where it should have been. It lined it up perfectly. Let's upload it, and we will check out the quality of the edit. All right, while that's uploading, I am going to show you the difference between downloading from Matterport and downloading directly from the camera. So this photo here, I downloaded directly from the Ricoh Theta, and let's open it and see how big the image is 6720 by 3360 so again a little bit bigger a little bit of better quality and it'll look better uploaded back to the Matterport so if you have the option to download from your camera make sure you do that and then re-upload it do the same process now I'll take this one and put it in the Matterport and then we'll compare the two and see if there is a huge difference between the higher quality 6,000 and 4,000 megapixels. Let's check it out. All right, it is uploaded. So let's see the difference between number 10 and the two new scans that we included in the tour. So here's the original with the water. 65 is without that water there. Pretty much the same picture. Only difference is uh, those little edits we made. So that's pretty similar. That was the 4,000 pixel image we created. Now, when we're doing the scan directly from the computer, you can see the quality is better, but the uh, but the Matterport 
automatically does some uh, brightness Photoshop type stuff to these cans so you can see uh, the original in the camera the raw is a little bit darker un under not as uh, not as nice of an exposure or color but that's easily something we can edit in uh, our cells when it's needed and you can also see like in this post right here the Matterport download that we did it's brighter not as much detail in the other one you have more detail more contrast you can really especially notice it let me zoom in here so here is uh, the Matterport download we did and here is the download from the camera as you can see downloading directly from the camera does give you a better product and you can edit it to match with the um, Matterport but it is a lot more work so I would highly suggest just downloading directly from Matterport and re-uploading it to Matterport so it all matches uh, if you have any questions comment below I know there was a few things that kind of went through quickly I didn't want to make this a 30 minute video. Hope this helps. Have a great day.